Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to Comic Review 47, and in today's video, I'm doing something different. I'll be talking about WTF characters, which is another series I'm doing. So for today, we'll review the Eraser. Now, the Eraser hasn't had too many appearances, so bear with me on this. The Eraser is one of Batman's D-list villains, meaning that he's pretty lame. He first appeared in Batman number 188 back in December of 1966. Now this guy's gimmick was that he would literally and figuratively erase all evidence. As this issue is one of his only appearances, I'll be going more in depth to the story that is unfolding in this issue. As Bruce Wayne and Nick Grayson are in a department store, they see a giant eraser sale. This reminds Bruce of a villain that he fought years back. Now this is going to sound silly, but his origin is literally that he made so many mistakes with an eraser in class. Not only that, but he wasn't very popular in school, while Bruce Wayne was the Ice King, which pretty much meant that he was the Prom King, and he was popular and everything. That's all that is explained in his origin story. Now I'm guessing that he got mad at society and wanted to pursue being a criminal because that's pretty much what happens in every comic book origin. <laughs> Flash forward to the present, Batman and Robin try to investigate a case in which somebody stole from a bank and left absolutely no evidence behind. Batman couldn't even use his bat lens to find out. Now, one thing that is actually cool about this villain is that he could just do whatever he wants and no one will ever know that he did it, and the fact that he erased all of his evidence, but we'll find out why that doesn't even work later on. Batman and Robin are trying to resolve this mystery when all of a sudden a Batman model toy pops out from a nearby building a few stories high. Now, the next panel is really cool because it kind of shows a nod to the Batman 66 series since they're doing that iconic climb on the wall and Robin's asking, shouldn't there be music here? And Batman says, quiet. I thought this part was really funny and entertaining, even for our time. Anyways, as soon as they enter the window, they notice that there's some criminals robbing from the toy store and Batman and Robin intervene. One of the criminals says that he knew that he should have hired the eraser to erase their evidence, and Batman is wondering who this eraser guy is. Their next clue is that one of the crook's pockets had a burned sheet of paper. After some analysis, it turns out that this paper is part of a criminal article. The paper is revealed to be the eraser's information card. Now this is actually pretty stupid because he could erase all evidence, but wasn't able to erase the fact that this paper didn't burn all the way, and Batman and Robin were still able to find out how to contact him and get to him. So in order to interrogate the eraser, Batman sends a letter to his P.O. box, yes, he has a P.O. box apparently, and then proceeded to disguise himself to lure him in and avoid suspicion. A disguised Batman then proceeded to rob a bank, which is actually his own money so he's pretending to do a crime. Then the racer pops out of the shadows and tells the disguised Batman that the way he operates is that he erases the clues as they're being made. He does this by using a compound which is on the top of his head that removes evidence easily. Bruce then notices that the eraser is Lenny Fiasco, that guy who would always make mistakes back in college. Bruce is also shocked to know that the pencil knows that he is, in fact, Bruce Wayne in disguise, and Lenny's mad at Bruce Wayne because Bruce was popular while he wasn't, so he then proceeds to try and kick him with his pointed pencil tipped shoes. Yes, you heard me right. Not only are his shoes pointy, but they also have a certain gas that knocks out people. The eraser then proceeds to put Bruce Wayne inside an ice sculpture because he remembered one night that they were at a carnival and had ice sculptures. Bruce Wayne is able to skate because of some weird 60s science, so he then proceeds to switch his Batman costume on quickly, while Robin joined him as well. Robin was able to see where Bruce Wayne was because of a sonar radar signal that he had in his foot, and since the eraser erases all clues, it set off a silent alarm for whatever reason. Now all Batman did to defeat the eraser was literally throw shards of ice from the ice sculptures and put nose filters to avoid his gas attack. He knocked out the eraser in one punch and sent him straight to jail. To finish this off, he actually gave Lenny a giant eraser in jail. Wow, I didn't know that Batman and Robin were such pricks. After this, the Eraser has only had three cameo appearances. He appeared in one panel in Ambush Bug Year None number 4, in which he's seen not being able to go through a metal detector due to his metal tip, which is actually pretty funny. His second appearance was also in one panel in Batman Whatever Happened to the Cape Crusader in 2009, and later in Batman R.I.P. in one panel as well. Outside of the comics, he hasn't had too many appearances. He was shown once in an episode of Batman the Brave and the Bold, in which he's easily defeated. However, his most recent appearance is in the Lego Batman movie where he is shown for a brief few seconds. Well, that is it guys, he really doesn't have too much background information as he's mostly used as a comedic gag type character in the comics. What do you guys think of the Eraser? 
Is he the worst villain in Batman history? Leave a comment and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.